Okay, we're going to talk about disassembly and reassembling with different types of firearms. We're going to start with the 1911. Now, there are two steps that are crucial to every single disassembly. Okay? And they are as, some, as follows. Remove the feeding device. Whether this is a magazine, a clip, um, any, whatever it is, remove any, remove the source of ammunition. If possible, there are certain guns you will not be able to do this to. Second, this is the one that you will be able to do all check to make sure it is empty. So I'm going to go ahead and lock the slide to the rear. There is no round in the chamber, and the magazine is out. I'm going to go ahead and the magazine all the way over there. Now, return this to a prepared state. First thing you're going to do on this particular model is right here at the muzzle. You have what's called a plunger, okay? right here okay you're going to want to depress that and rotate the bushing okay now you can get right there to where it's kind of resting on there until you get your fingers ready because the, the recoil spring is right here okay and slowly release finger pressure to get the plug and the recoil spring out. You might have to kind of rotate it off of the guide rod in there. Okay. Now, you're going to... I talk to hammer first. It's a little bit easier. You're going to move the slide back until this little notch right here lines up. And you can flip the gun over and right here on this pin, just push that out and you can remove slide stop. And the whole barrel assembly, slide assembly, will slide right off. You can then flip the slide over, remove your guide rod, and just pull your barrel. Alright, well, you can remove the bushing. And you can remove the bushing, and sometimes rotate it until it lines up, and you just pull your barrel out. That disassembles into your major components. You have your receiver, your frame, you have your slide, you have your barrel, you have your guide rod, your bushing, your slide stop, your bushing plug, <laughs> and then your spring and of course your magazine. Now to reassemble, you do the complete opposite. First I want to show you, there's a little lug right there on the bushing. There's also a cut inside of the slide. I don't know if you'll be able to see right in there. That is what lines up. Okay? That's why it don't come out. It won't come out this way. So you gotta rotate it that way to have it come out. But you gotta rotate it two, day, two ways. You can rotate it that way if you want. If you rotate it this way, you can go all the way just enough to clear the, bush, to clear the plug. Then you rotate it back the other way to pull it out. Okay? So, I think a little trick also with the barrel is that link, you want it forward. Okay? It's not rear, but it's the forward. So you slide your barrel back in, let it lock into the locking, uh, locking lugs. Your bushing goes down. So that cutout right there. That goes down towards the barrel. Now, I like to just stick my bushing right up against the, or my guide rod, right up against the barrel, uh, barrel link. Okay? Now, I put the frame on, or you put your bushing on. And I rotate it all the way. So, yeah, I like that. Now, I put the the um, receiver on upside down. I've seen some people put the guide rod all the way forward and do it sideways. I just prefer to do it this way. Just the way I like to do it. What you want to do is you want to guide those little cutouts right there on the slide with the rails on the frame. Okay? The reason I do it upside down is because I can leave the, the guide rod right there. 
and just slide it right on. Okay? Now, you're going to want the line, a little cut out, back up. Put your hole there. Now, you're going to want to look down through this hole right here and get that link lined up. Okay? So you see the links right there. So you just want to line it up. And you want to take your slide stop and get it right in there. Might take a few tries. And there it slips right in. Okay? That's not all the way in. But it's in there. There's a little indent. Right here. Now there's ways to do it. Um, a lot of people will slide this up and it'll cut into your frame right here. The way I do it is I cheat and I would not suggest doing this on any extremely expensive pistol. I just take a little micro screwdriver with a flathead, line that up and push that indent the D10 in. Okay? It'll snap right into place. You then push the barrel forward. Now I put the hammer down the tension on the hammer just kind of helps the slide not move so much. Rotate your bushing. Put your recoil spring in. And that's the wrong way. You want your bushing that way. So if you're looking down at the muzzle, it's got point at who you want to the right. To the left, my fault. Then you just slowly push your bushing, your plug down, and now you can push it like there and capture it so you can get a better push on there. And sometimes I've used a pencil to help. There you go. Do a functions check on it, make sure everything's working. your safety still works. So all your safety still work. And then you can bring it through the magazine. There you go.